Hello and welcome back. I am Mundef, of course, and if you paid attention to that intro sequence you just saw and the title of this video, uh, I guess, or, or the title of this video, you'll notice that things have changed again, unfortunately. Um, yes, I am on a new and different server. Uh, it is a new server. We're playing on the ultimate pack. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about why, but I'm here at the spawn area. This is our little spawn camp. Um, nothing too fancy. Oh, this is, actually, I didn't notice this before. Somebody built a giant creosote oil tank. Cool. That's a lot of creosote oil. <laughs> and a cocoa gun. Cool. Very cool, very cool. Um, it's not much. It's a humble start here at spawn. But uh, as a group, we have a really fun idea for what we're going to do with spawn and uh, really to be able to use it. And uh, I think it's going to be awesome. So um, you can see some people have already started linking up with uh, uh, linking books since Mistcraft is in the ultimate pack, which is awesome. Um, I have not done that yet. I have another connection. Because, uh, rather than diving into the new mods and the things that are in this pack that weren't in the previous pack, I have decided to catch up before recording for you guys. So, uh, what I mean by that is, I'm a, I went to try to get everything, or at least most of what I had, before I switched servers. Alright, when I'm making this run back to spawn here, I'll tell you why we're switching servers. Detection was having some technical difficulties, and uh, rather than have a question of whether or not, you know, uh, the server was going to be running again, or whether the world was going to be damaged or whatever, uh, myself, Melly, and Four Palm made the decision that. Um, a more stable server would suit our playstyle a little bit better. And in that regard, we moved on. Uh, now credit to the guys at Texion, they were able to recover everything from, that everybody had and restore the server back to exactly before they were, they were having problems, uh, which is great, good job for them. Uh, credit to them for getting that to work right. Um, but we had already kind of committed and prepared to leave and did a lot of work on this server, so um, with that commitment, we're going to go ahead and stay here. <laughs> Sounds like Melly's hunting gas again. <laughs> I thought that gas just killed himself. Uh, I've really been enjoying the ultimate pack, and I want to show you a few things that we've done with it. Um, the first thing, before I step out into the greater nether here... Yep, there's Melly is I have got power armor. I love this stuff. Uh, I'm also wearing long fall boots for the time being. Power armor, this stuff is so cool. So, so cool. Uh, it's modular. We'll play with it when we get back into the house a little bit. Um, and I'll show you what I've done with it so far. It also makes you look red, which will wash out in the nether, so I'll show you in the overworld. Um, you can actually color it to be whatever color you want to be. I've chosen red since it's my favorite color. And uh, let's go ahead and hop through the portal. If I can get through that little. There we go. And. Here we go. Haha! -ha, overworldness! Okay. So, let's go ahead and. I'm gonna get up here and then we'll. Oh. The power tool, I guess, is the moment to tell you the truth. Uh, I have set this up as my sword, so it does damage against mobs. And uh, it's also a crafting table, so you can see right above it in, um, on the action bar, right above my armor, you can see that it's got a crafting table there. And if I right click, I can get access to a 3x3 crafting table. So I want to show you this, this armor in F5 mode. Here we go. Bam! Oh yeah! Look at that! Look what we built! Isn't it cool? Look at that thing. Look at that thing behind us. All right, let's take it. Let's take a better look at it. I kind of buried the lead there. Yeah, yeah, I did that. All right. Um, yeah, this is our build. We wanted to have a basic setup, um, a lot to go along with uh, 
getting our basics caught up to where we were on the other server. This is the style for the build that we picked, and I said we because Mally, me, and Palm are all going to live together this time. Uh, we're going to all share resources, and we're going to collaborate on pretty much everything that we do. So, that should be pretty fun. So, yeah, that's the builds. The plan, the plan here, here is to, is to take, take these, um, basic, basically these space, space, space domes, domes it's supposed to like look like future in space docky, and, and plop them over the all over the mountainside. So, so my, next my next one, one I'm, I'm, I'll be the one I'll be working on next. We built this together, together as the three of us, and we wanted to get, wanted to get a style, style established. established. I'm going to build one over here, here. where Mally has put this temporary Thoughtcraft house, basically. Um, uh, kind, of kind of center, center right about here, here. Sure, so. So, don't go so don't go over the edge of this area, area a little bit, which is fine. And then go and we'll have, have, have another one. Palms, palms, one over there, over there. So he's got some marker, some torch on it. Torch on it. I, didn't I didn't do that, man. I definitely didn't do that. I did, I did do it. I sent him sent us online. Um, uh, so yeah, we're so gonna, yeah, have, we're gonna have these kind of littering the, the landscape. Each one, each one, each one to get, get, get into this. Let's go ahead and go ahead and go and spend this. This one. is our this starter we had. Alright, there we go. We have a, we we got got arcane levitators, levitators from, from Thumb Crafts. Crafts. Let us, let us. Oops. Oops. What was that about? What was that about? Turn on, turn on, turn on. Let us fly up, fly up into, into the area. Of course, 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 I've got a jetpack. Jet 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 so we do that, we do that without, without <laughs> needing the arcane levitators. But other people, other people come, come to visit. They don't need the arcane levitators. That's where, that's where. So, yes, here we've yes, got, we've got, got a giant lava tank. tank. This is a multi tank from. Nice, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what is this from? It's from. Psycraft. Psycraft. And Psycraft. Yes, yes. So, Zycraft so multi tank, multi -tank. You, can see, you can see, all you need all to really make really these things, things work, work is any solid any solid which you, we chose Glass Viewer, which is also from Zycraft, and Nagastone, which is from Twilight Forest, and Nagastone heads on the corners, because they look cool. And uh, then we're just test reacting into them. You do need this block that's on there, that's a valve. Um, that's what makes this whole thing work as a tank. And then we, we built the test rack, and we have a pump in the nether that's pumping lava into this thing. You can see it's pretty much always pegged full at 7,776 buckets of lava. And then we're coming off on two different sides. Um, this side here comes out here to these magmatic engines, and there will be, eventually there will be more. Um, you can see these cobblestone sketch lines for where we're going to put more. But yeah, there will be a bunch more of you know, magmatic engines as we expand the, power, expand the power system. And these pump into, right now, this is pumping into everything that we're using with Buildcraft Power. <laughs> Eventually, this will pump into, like, an energy tesseract, redstone storage frames, and into a pipe that'll go underground and get piped out to the other domes and platforms and the places where we need power. Uh, this guy right here, this is from the Power Converters mod. Uh, this is a BC consumer, or Buildcraft Power consumer, so it takes Buildcraft Power, converts it into uh, kind of whatever they call this, universal energy storage units, I don't know, which is stored in this bridge. You can see in the bridge we have, um, on the north side, here's your Buildcraft. It's currently, this is an input. It currently doesn't have any input coming in because the percent charge is just full and there's nothing going out. And then the top here, we've got a universal charging pad. Um, you can see that goes up to an IC2 low voltage power system, um, which is an output. Currently, there's no link because nobody's standing on it. But if someone were to stand on it, then it would have a link. Let's see if I can uh, get on it. There we go. Now it has a link, but all my stuff is charged. So um, it doesn't, you know, no EU. But yeah. So what that is. The rest of the stuff you should recognize. This is all stuff from um, that we've used that we used in Tekshin. So yep, yeah, a few basic starters. Here's the majority of our wealth. We've used most of it. <laughs> uh, this is what I want to show you guys, because this guy right here, this is called the Tinker Table. And the Tinker Table is for you to tinker with your power suit and power armor stuff. So let's take a look at what I've done. 
um, I wanted to do with this with you guys on camera, but I couldn't help myself and just had to get this armor set up and running because, oh man, it's so cool. So the way this stuff works is, you know, you have your piece here. You can see I have my headpiece and you can see the E says, means that it's equipped in. And then these are all the things that we can do with it. So I can add night vision. Uh, I can add flight control unit. In fact, I have the flight control unit installed. This one I don't, so it has an install option. And this one is installed so I could salvage the control circuit. Um, these are items you have to craft in order to be able to install the piece. And there's only a few different types of items. Um, the aura meter, I think this is cool. You can make your thalmic goggles attach to your uh, helmet and then I'll show you in a second here you can actually turn toggle these modules on and off um, with the press of a key this is pretty cool um, I do have a solar generator attached because it does generate a little bit of power in the daytime it produces a hundred I don't know if this is per tick or per second but it produces a hundred and a night of ten um, I've done this because this doesn't weigh anything Weight has a big deal with these things. As you install these modules, some of these modules have weight. None of these do. The armor, here we go. I also have diamond plating installed, and I've made it fully thickness, so it's full armor protection. That provides six points of protection, which is uh, three shirts worth, right? And uh, it weighs six kilograms. And you can see the overall weight of my helmet here is six kilograms. This um, weighs six. Now, as you add up your weights, more weight makes you slower. So here on my torso, I've also got diamond plating installed, which makes me weigh six kilograms. On this one, I've also got the jetpack installed, which weighs nothing, which is strange, but there you go. Um, on all of these, I also have the color, custom color module. And here's my color. So 75, 175, it gives me the dark red. And on the pants, I've got a number of things installed, the diamond plating again, but this one I only have set to 5, and the reason for that is because um, at 5 I have full armor shirts. I have my full 20 points of armor between these three pieces and my long fall boots. So instead of jumping us up to 6, which wouldn't provide me with any additional armor, and adding a point of weight, I dropped it so that it only adds exactly the amount of physical armor that I need, so I don't add any extra additional weight. Right, And this one also has my battery on it, which is this Elite battery. I ha barely have this cranked up um, because I don't want my overall weight to extend beyond 24. 24. Um, so here I've got 6, another 6, that's 12, and another 12, that's 24. It's a perfect 24 weight. If I were to bump this up, a little bit more, it would actually start slowing me down. Up to 24, all your weight up to 24 doesn't slow you down. It's after 24 that you start slowing down. Um, on my pants, I've also got sprint assist, jump assist, and uphill step assist. This is run, run and walk faster, jump higher, and go up one block height without having to jump. So those are those ones. And then of course the power tool and Melee assist, this makes it act like a sword. Plasma cannon, which I don't have yet. This would be cool to get. This makes it act like a bow. Uh, these guys are your tools and same kind of stuff. So uh, if you can't tell, I love these things. They're so cool. Um, what a well done mod uh, Power Armors is. It's barely, barely starting to be implemented. I went through and read her to-do list, um, the mod authors, and she has some amazing things planned. Um, like sonic shock weapons and um, like super heating fire bolts and ugh, it's gonna be cool. Uh, she said her inspiration for this mod comes from like superhero movies like Iron Man and stuff like that. So uh, if she goes that same route, oh, she wants to add a rocket launcher to the power tool. Who would that be? All right, that'd be so cool. All right. Anyway. Let's see, I've got 30 levels. Let's go to an enchant. Um, we don't have the crazy enchant system like we did on Tekshin yet. Uh, we do have a basic farm in there. And we have a few books. I'm trying to get efficiency for. Darn. Shirts. Protection for. Has anyone got any efficiency yet? No, no, no efficiency. 
I want to add efficiency to my power tool just because it makes it work better. Uh, when you're flying. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you don't have to be holding anything. If you just press the K key, assuming you haven't changed your default uh, key configuration in Ultimate, uh, you open this window. Um, this window is your control for managing your modules in um, power, the power armor suit stuff. I know we're doing a lot of menu -y stuff, but I want to show you what I've done in this stuff. It's important. So, um, here I've got set up my F key, which is my flight key. This activates my jetpack here, right? My jetpack. And it also activates my flight control. Um, the flight control makes the jetpack not fall. You know how you normally like fly up in the air and then you fall down? Flight control makes you not do that. It makes you kind of, you fly up in the air and then you just float, right? So, so I have these turning on together and then, um, or turning off together. So flight control and jetpack. Over here, I've got T. This is my transparent armor. I have transparent armor assigned to my helmet. I'll show you that here in a second. And then on Y, I've got my sprint assist, jump assist, and uphill step assist. Basically, if I press Y, instead of, you know, being crazy movement and like, oh, right, if I just press Y, I'm now in regular walk mode. Regular jump mode. Can't jump over the fence. I can sprint still and sprint at regular speed. Right, if I do a trick jump. I can get my jump to work. Jump. There we go. <laughs> there you go. So you set the jump assist now. Um, so that's that. So press Y. Those three modules come on. You get the chat message telling that they're on, and I can jump high. Jump higher, run faster. We have the technology, right? Okay. Let's see here. Let's go into F5 mode so you can see me. Now, if I hit T, which we showed was the transparent armor. There we go. I can hide my helmet. I'm still wearing my helmet. See, if I open my inventory, I'm still wearing it. It's just transparent. You can't see it. Um, the reason I did this is so... Oops. Wrong button. There we go. So that if I walk up to somebody and I'm like, oh, hey, how's it going? I can just, you know, well, that was why again. <laughs> there we go. Transparent armor on. And um, you can see my face. And I can say hello to people. And then I can, you know, keep my armor back on. So, armor back on. The view of the armor back on, anyway. Um, they're actually, to go along with the transparent armor, if you install it on all your pieces, which you can do, and there are boots, I'm just not wearing them right now. Um, if you install it on all of your armor, and you install, let me show you. Let me just show you here. There was F for flight mode, by the way. On the chest piece, the special active camouflage. This gives you the potion effect of invisibility, which is so cool. Um, yeah. So, invisibility. And then if you tie that to the same key, maybe you tie it to I or something. So, your active camouflage turns on and all of your gear goes transparent. And you're totally invisible except for the little particle effects. Yeah, so cool, so cool. All right, so... Last time I chatted with you guys, which was a little bit over a week since I've been working on all this since then, um, I said we were going to do uh, the storage system and we talked about golems and have, using golems to put items in barrels and there was some concern about lag and I said, yeah, you know, it might cause a little bit of lag, but it's going to be too cool to not do. Um, well, we're not going to do that. <laughs> um, not because of lag. I'm, I'm not worried about that. I'm can. I've tested it, I'm convinced that it would be doable, and while it would be noisy, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Not because of that. Um, the reason that we're not going to do that is because of these. Um, I don't have these set up to test. Let me take these upstairs, set them up so I can show you what these are, if you're not familiar with them, because they are the most amazing thing ever to exist on the planet. See you in a sec. All right. Um, these guys... First, let's talk about the block here. This is an ME access terminal, an ME drive, and an ME controller. Controller is the first one that we need. And we're going to hook it up to power. I'm just going to hook it up to my low voltage uh, EU line over here to play with it. You can see, there you go. It's all powered up and all of that goodness. There we go. The controller is online, and it's currently using six, in, six units of energy per tick. Um, that's not six EU per tick. It's six units of ME power per tick. 
which is a little bit annoying that they don't show us the EU value, but it's okay. Mod work in progress, all right? Okay. Um, actually, there's a lot of work in progress mods in this mod pack, but uh, they're too cool to not use. So yeah, we need two more devices in order to make um, the system do anything, and that's these other two. So we've got the ME drive, and we've got the ME access terminal. Now the drive has an interface that looks like a little uh, drive interface, and we've got these storage devices. Um, these are, this is an ME16K storage as well as this one is an ME16K storage. Now this one's empty. I'm just going to stick it in there and you can see it actually visually shows up inside of the drive, which is cool. So at a glance you can tell if you have room for more drives. And this one goes there. Now, the whole idea, ME is matter energy. The whole idea is instead of storing the items, we store the energy that makes up the items. So we break the items down to energy and we store that. Um, and that's what these little drives do. They store energy. And then you can see they have so many bytes, and they can store so many different types. Each of the drives can store 63 types, and depending on the storage size, then this one's a 16K, so 1,684 bytes. Um, this one actually has some stuff in it, because we've been playing with this, which you, can, you can't actually see from the drive itself. We need an access terminal to be able to see them, and that's this guy. And ta-da, all of our stuff. You can see our one Iridium we have in here for safekeeping. Mally's taking stuff in and out. I can just put string in here if I want, just click into the interface. I can click and pull things out, piece of cake. Now, this is the really cool part, right? This is 628 netherrack, not 20 stacks of, or whatever, I'm not doing the math right. Almost 10 stacks separated out into 10 lines. It's one block, one unit of interface, 628. If I put more into there, over here, it stacks there, 660 netherrack. Sweet! I can even run searches, so if I'm interested in something that's like stone related, I can type in stone, assuming I can spell and type. And there you go, cobblestone and stone, right? So this is cool. This is going to become the backbone of our storage system, which will be in a different tower than this, since this is the power tower. Storage and crafting will be in a different one. Um, so that's the idea. Now, going back to the controller, you can see one access terminal, one drive connected, and now it's consuming 12 energy units per tick. So the more, the larger you make the system, the more energy it's going to take up, which is why a large energy system was our first step. You can see between me taking these down and putting them up here, Mally's already made a few magmatic engines. <laughs> she made a bolt batch, I guess. Made a whole bunch of magmatic engines and hooked them all up to, yeah. Right now, all this energy is kind of being wasted, but yeah, whatever. It's cool. All good. It's not like it's not like it's causing a problem with our lava tank. Yeah. Okay. Um, eventually, we're going to move the lava tank off of um, nether lava, and we'll move it into a renewable lava source, but that'll come at a later date. So this is now this matter energy storage system. This is going to become the backbone of our storage solution. Now, making two energy cells right now. Very nice, Mally. Very nice. Um, don't get me wrong. If you're familiar with my math system, and I, I get comments every now and then that, oh, the system's so cool. You know, uh, I agree with you. It is so cool. Um, I love the math system. We're going to use elements of that with these, because these are neat, and you can do a number of things with them, auto-crafting and whatever else, but there's still some limitations, so we are going to do that, but, um, you know, we'll get to them, we'll get to them as we expand the system out, and that'll all go out into the, um, the tower, which, I don't know which way I'm facing, yeah, uh, no, the other side, this side, I think, I don't know, whichever way it is. From up here, I don't know which way is which. I go out to one of these sides, out to another tower where there will be all the storage and all the crafting, and we'll pipe all the power from here to there in order to run that system. So that's that. Um, I'm going to disconnect this since it's just a unnecessary energy draw right now, since we're not really using it for anything. The uh, only thing important there is that uranium. Now, this is a cool part about this. This stores all my stuff, right? This drive hasn't started... Ooh, kitty, you knocked over the can. Um, this hasn't started... The second drive hasn't started storing anything yet. Everything is in this one. So if I pick up this drive, 
and I take this to some other network, say um, an access terminal at spawn, maybe, right? And I put this in an access terminal at spawn. All of this stuff comes with me, and this is 800, 988 um, items right now, which is pretty cool, and it can store up to, you know, 16,000 items, so pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Um, yeah, 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 good, good. Let me eat my steak here. Is it just me or were those particles like green? One night eight. That's gross. Oh, rotten steak. Nasty. Ah, oh, stopped raining. Oh. oh no, it didn't. I was just underneath here. You can't see the rain from here. Awesome. Not stopped raining. Dang it. <laughs> oh well. Uh, Melly's got to start has gotten start started on our bees. Just giving you the quick update on what's going on here. We'll go ahead and start that one again. That one's being crossbred. I won't touch that one. And start that one. I come over here every now and then and just restart the basic ones. Like that looks like there's some sort of breeding pattern going on. I won't deal with that. It's common and multiple breeds. When there's all one bre breed in there, I restart them for her. When there's not, I let her deal with it because I haven't been dealing with yeah. Yeah. Alright, now, there's one more thing I want to show you guys um, today, and that's out here, if I can get in here without making a mess. That netherrack pile, um, this is one of these thomcraft areas, which, just by the virtue of the fact that this is here, we know that this is a dark storage, uh, it's a dark node, right? And these things actually now, in the new generation, these come also with spawners that spawn these wi wisps. Um, so you can see, you can actually see the little wisps spawning in the, uh, spinning in this, in there. Um, we found two of these, so we, using the gravity gun here, this one, gravity gun, we picked up the spawner, um, just like this. You know, if you haven't seen this done, nope, looks so cool. And you can pick anything up, including spawners. Um, so we picked the spawner up, carried the other one over there. We adjusted the position on the spawner that is there. Go away, dirt. Okay. Uh, up a little bit so it would sit right next to the node. We're going to turn that into a trap. But um, I don't think we're going to have time to do that today. Um, I really want to make one more toy today, but it's going to involve a little bit of crafting and preparation. Um, so. I'm going to prepare my crafting and toys. I'll show you the crafting recipes because this one's its kind of a strange mod and um, it's just a mod full of toys. If you haven't guessed already, I'm going to make one of the toys from Reliquary. So I'm going to make myself and I'm going to make Mally one and I'm going to make Palm one and um, that way we can have all have a new toy. So um, I'll be back in a second when I'm ready to show you all the crafts. Alright guys, I have everything that we need, finally. Um, the first thing that you have to do is make these vials, and I'll just show you. I usually don't show crafting recipes, but these things are uh, from Reliquary are a little strange, so make these empty vials, just some glass panes, piece of cake, uh, right click them into water, you get these vial of ordinary waters. You mix them like this, six of those, and then you take these condensed splash serums and you make them glowing water. You need six of those. Combine that with a pile of gold and yellowy stuff. <laughs> Yellow. Yeah. And Sojourner's staff. Alright, like that. Uh, I'm making three because I'm making one for Palm, one for Mally as well. Uh, I don't know where Mally is, but uh, she's downstairs. Let's go. I love the radar. Uh, you can see right on the radar, I can see Mally's face down here. Oop, so we'll just... Oh, she's up there. Hey, Mally. Present. Oh, oh, falling over. There we go. Ground is easier than trying to bounce up there with two people. There you go. Ta-da! Ooh. Ew, she doesn't like my present. Oh well. Ah, okay, she does like my present. This is my place for giving Palm presents since he's not online right now. 
Uh, you can see I've already have presents in here. This is to get him a jetpack since he doesn't have one yet for his suit. Uh, so, yes. All right, so these things are cool. Uh, to show this off, let me grab a few sticks and a few pieces of coal. Should be here. Oh, here. Are we out of coal up here? Oh, no, no. I'll go down to the bottom. We have coal. We, I know we have coal. Down. I've got to hook this up to some wireless redstone or an arcane ear or something so we can get down without having to worry about. Because uh, you can deactivate those with redstone power. That's the point. Oh, where? Where? Oh, where? It's all of our coal gone. Oh, where? Where? Could it be? Come on, coal. Bunch of coal here. There we go. That's better. There we are. All right. So, watch what happens as I make these torches. Right. This will be over a stack. So, chink. Watch them. Watch them. Watch them. They're getting eat. They're going away. Where are they going? They're charging the soldier and staff. You can see that barely did anything to it, which is awesome. So what this thing does is it eats, it consumes all of the torches in your inventory. Um, which at first you're like, what? What's going on? Why would you want your staff to eat all your torches? Ah, she's waving her wand at me. Alright, uh, there's more coal. I'm not, I, I don't want to use up all of our coal, but we, we'll make that much. You can Just so we can get a good, decent charge on it. Now it stores several, several stacks. I don't know what the exact number is. Mally might know, but... Lucky YouTube, Mally's saying she wants me to show you how it works. Show us how it works. Show us how it works. Looking behind us, and torches. Torches, torches, torches. She's placing torches from all the way over there. She's placing torches here. Let me show you from my view. Uh, that surface right there. Just right click, right click, right click. See a little particle effect of them as the magic goes down. If it's close enough, it actually displays runs the animation, which is too bad that it doesn't do that for that like that. It should still do the swinging animation. Um, but that uses torches out of the staff, the torches that it absorbed. Um, so now what we can do is with my jetpack on. Um, well, at night this will be easier to tell what's dark and what isn't. We can fly around, and be like, loop, 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 yep, loop, yep, cover all of the dark spaces and I don't have to carry several stacks I no longer have to carry I usually carry um, if you've seen my inventory before I usually carry sticks or some sort of wood and then a stack of coal along with my stack of torches so now I don't have to do that um, these sticks now are totally extra I don't need these I can leave them at home and I can just bring my sojourn staff with me and uh, when it gets empty or when it gets close to empty I'll know okay I need to charge it make a whole pile of, of torches so now I'll probably since I don't want to use up all the coal that we have we'll probably cook a bunch of charcoal and make a bunch of torches so that I can charge my soldier and staff all the way up um, so yeah it's a pretty fun little toy I like it a lot it saves you on inventory space which is not the case with all of reliquaries uh, little toys but um, in this case it's it's uh, it's advantageous here hey villagers how are you doing? Seven emeralds for diamond boots. Terrible deal. Do you know what we do with villagers that have terrible deals? We solve the problem. <laughs> How about you? Twenty meat for an emerald. That's not bad. We'll keep you. Alright. That's all for now. I'm on Def. Thanks for watching. If you do like this video, uh, let me know. Either in the comments or by clicking the like button. Either way is good with me. Anyway, I'll see you next time.